The CodeCamp website gives you three basic ways for you to indicate your intent to go to a different session. It's very important for us to know that because we allocate our 27 or 28 simultaneous room sizes based on your intent. So if you want to make sure that when you go to a session there's room for you, please come to the site and let us know which session you're going to plan to go to at each time. So there's three, three primary ways that you can do this. They're all from available from the program menu. The first and easiest one is you just say sessions, which gives you the page that we're looking at here. A little off the beaten path is one called session planner. And then also off the beaten path is another one called session attend. So let's basically go through those first. Before we can measure our intent, we have to log in, otherwise it doesn't know who we are. And you'll notice if I look at the sessions page here, we, we search by JavaScript just to give us a few sessions. And notice there's this column here is empty. Well, that's because we haven't logged in. So I'm going to log in. I have a user called, I'm just going to make a user called test55. So now I've logged into that user. If I say program sessions, it will show me all the sessions. And notice that several of them already say interested because I've, I've indicated my interest earlier by clicking on these. There's two ways to change this. One is I can just toggle right on the button. It changes it to attending to not interested. So I can just run through all the states. Or if I'm on attending and I don't want to go through not interested, but I want to change the attending back to not interested, I can click on this drop down and go straight to interested. So that's basically it. We have, if we look at any one particular session, and let's just look at 9.45, what actually meant one particular time slot, and notice I have no sessions at this time slot I want to attend. So let's say I want to go to Bruno's, big data is a big deal. So I'm going to change this to attending. And so now notice I have one attending for this 9.45 time slot. So see, I've only selected 9.45. So if I decide I want to go to Ron Litke's Managing the Unmanageable, and I click on Attending here, notice Bruno's session changed back to Interested. Well, that's basically because you can't be at two places at the same time. Well, of course, we know you can jump between sessions, but we want to make sure that we have an idea of what's your first choice and where you're likely to go. A couple other things of interest. If you hover over the Details button, it will show you the details of that session. So I can hover over the different ones. Searching also allows you, so if you want to look for something specifically, so if I want to look for like data, if I just type in data, it does a, a jQuery um, immediate search, so it shows me just the things with data. If I want to type JavaScript, it's going to show me all the JavaScript. It can type in the name of, a, like I have a session, if I type Kellner, it will show me that session. If I type Doris, it'll just show me Doris. So search is very nice for, for searching for what you're looking for. So that was one way to look at the sessions. Another way we can look at the sessions for indicating what we want to go to is we can go to the session attend. And this is the same as last year. We had this in last year's viewer also. It's more convenient to run this in full screen mode because this is actually an ext.js application, a standalone application running in an iframe. So if we say view in full screen mode, we get the same application, but now it's in a frame that you can change the browser size, you can run it, it's just, it runs just much better in full screen mode. And the way this works is you say Sunday, it will show you all the Sunday sessions, you can toggle between the different times. So for example, if I want to look at Saturday, just like the group we were looking at before, here's 9.45 a.m., I can sort, I can click on the column title, it will allow me to sort the sessions by title. This column here says how many people have already selected. So if you like to follow the popular session, you can click on here and sort it by session. And you can see that Douglas Crockford's got 105 people. Notice it's part two at 945. I think that's a bug. I think that needs to be part one, and I will fix that right after this. Here are all the different sessions. Once you click on a session, and you click this button, press here to plan to attend, it marks this session as you want to attend it. If I say, oh, I want to go see Mark Miller's The Science of a Great UI, if I click here, it now says I'm going here, and it gets rid of the green, the green circle, which says we were going to attend that. So again, you can only attend one session at a time. This is probably the most popular way 
to pick your sessions. Let's go back to the main website and let's look at the, the, the final and last way to choose your sessions. So this one we call the Session Planner, another EXTJS app. Several things you can do with the Session Planner. The first thing I like to do is, is right now it shows all the sessions, the five on Saturday, the four on Sunday, and you can hardly see them because they're just so crunched together. If you have a huge monitor, you could stretch it out. But what I like to do is I like to go to the Sessions Time dropdown, and let's just look at Saturday, Saturday morning and the first session Saturday afternoon. Now we have a much more pleasant way to look at sessions. So if you notice, we're, the sort is sorted by my interest. Just for, for um, explanation, let's change it to sorted by title for the moment. So here we have 12 takeaways, three ways. Because I have this box here check that says pick sessions, if I uncheck that, notice the little title goes away, I can click on a session and it will change it to interested, it'll change it to plan to attend. And notice also this has the same characteristics that you can only attend one session at one time. So this is very convenient for picking your sessions. And it also has a nice search option, though it's very small and if your monitor is not small enough, this little search box goes away. So if I type in um, Hadoop, you know, there's Bruno's Hadoop session. If I, if I type in Java, space, it'll show me all the sessions that have to do with Java. If I type JavaScript, it's the same kind of search as that other window we looked at. And so I can look at all the different sessions. And notice it says plan it says the attend. A couple little tricks that aren't quite as obvious. You can pick which track to look at. And these are all additive. So each time you pick each time you do a sort, you do a search. If I say HTML5, it adds those sessions to what we're looking at. So this is JavaScript 5 and this particular track. If I pick that in Google Developers, it keeps adding. I can get rid of the full title if I want to just look at the at the shortened title. It's a little easier to read. Something, again, not quite so obvious is the show pop-up. It's not really fully baked, but it basically works, is if I click that, now when I hover over a session, it shows me the details about that session. It's a little funky basically works. We'll make it better next year. So if you go slowly, it'll do what you want. You don't have to bounce back and forth to the other part of the program to see it. So let's get rid of that because it is a little bit funky. Again, we have the sort by times. We have the tracks. Some people have asked they want to just see the intermediate or just see the beginner. This lets us sort by the level. And then the final part we haven't talked about is this: the different sorts available for us. So we're sorted by title, which is nice. So when we pick sessions, it doesn't rearrange them, right? We're just clicking on it. I can say interested, attend. But for example, if I say by my interest, when I click on it, it's going to resort based on, you know, putting the attend on top, which is nice because that way, when I look at this view, I immediately see all my sessions that I want to attend on the top. And then the final thing to talk about, which is really not how to choose your sessions, but of course how to look at your sessions. The way you do that is you simply say program session overview. And this will now show you all the sessions that you want to go to. And what's also nice about this is at the very bottom of this page, there's a little button that says click here to print. And if you click that, gives you a little dialog. You can save this, you know, just your normal Windows print dialog. So that's it. Go to the site, enjoy, pick your sessions, and looking forward to seeing everybody on Saturday.